Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I have a haul. <laughs> I have a lot of things. I have a homeschool kind of haul and I have home decor and so I'm excited because I went thrifting and so all of this is like vintage fine. So there's that. Those are my thrifted books that I picked up. Those are my homeschool things. The other things that I got are really just decor. So if you're interested in decor, stick around for that. Okay, the first thing that I have to show you is my butter dish. I know it has butter in there. Just bear with me because I couldn't wait. So I washed it and I had to get this. I thought it was beautiful. Found this at Goodwill. I can't remember how much it was. Maybe $2 if I had to guess. It was about $2. So here's the dish and Jeremy's gonna take it back downstairs. Thank you, babe. Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a haul. It's gonna be a thrifted haul. I have some books as well as some home decor pieces that I thrifted recently. It wasn't all at one time, it was like over a period of time. However, I'm so excited and I need to, I wanna go ahead and decorate and so here we are. I have one thing that I bought from the store that I will show you but everything else was um, was thrifted or was given to me so let me show you so first thing was the butter dish that I showed you guys that was something that I found at Goodwill um, I have been looking for like the style that you guys see back here is what I'm going for throughout our whole house I don't even know what to call it it's like a modern day vintage style if you know what it is let me know but I haven't done enough research to figure out exactly what this is I don't know if it's like a cottage style I don't know if it's I, I, I don't know I don't know I don't know what it is but I love it so much I am loving black I am loving like that brass color I'm loving like the collage of picture empty picture frames I'm just I'm loving it all so let me show you what I got so I'm gonna start with a few books that I picked up from Goodwill I feel like Goodwill should be cheaper but because it's a trend now for people to thrift I feel like they've increased their prices but I feel like I feel like it it should be an inflation right of course inflation but I feel like it should be cheaper and it is not and I'm not happy about it okay the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is this beautiful globe I have probably four globes in my house I love them I have a glass globe I have a blue globe I have um, I have a navy blue globe and then I have like one that plugs in and lights up so I have a lot of different globes but when I first wanted a globe this was the globe that I had in mind it was this exact globe but I couldn't find it and when I did find it it was expensive and so I found this one and this one was $3.99 at Goodwill it's beautiful it it just it goes okay it goes I just wanted a classic globe and so that's what that's what this is and then I picked up um, just a bunch of books that I saw that I, I go through all of their kids books I go through every single one of them because I want to I don't want to miss out on anything and so I think I have this book already but it's nice to have two because then Cameron can read one I can read one so this one is Roll of Thunder Hear My Cry I also picked up If I Ran the School these are just fun books for the kids to pick up and then for Savannah, when she's at the point where she's reading chapter books, she will be very happy. She's my cuddly girl who loves animals. And so I picked her up this set. Um, I have two, three, and four. I don't know how, how high up they go, but she will love this. So it's called The Magic Animal Friends, and it is another scholastic book. And the first book was called and Bella Tabby Paw in Trouble. Got her these little cute cute little books so all the animals on here it has ducks and rabbits so I'll have to uh, I'll have to keep looking for the rest of them if she likes this and then I saw this book and to be honest with you I got this book for the looks like I just love the look of it it was a whole vibe when I saw it it's called Dear America the Diary of Donnie Ray Johnson and it says with the might of angel Hadley Virginia in 1954 
so this is a book by scholastic and it was just it was beautiful it was absolutely beautiful and i wanted it so i grabbed this one and then i saw this like vintage book it's a animal farm book this is also a book by scholastic and 1981 before i was born and on the inside you have like the real live pictures of animals so i thought that that was wonderful and it gives information about each of the animals so just like things that like a book nowadays usually when you find like animal books they don't have real pictures in there much i don't see that at all um they don't have real pictures with the letters like with the alphabet with little detailed information about the animals i don't i haven't found that if you have let me know but i thought that this was perfect so we grabbed this book and then I just thought this book was cute. It says, Who Took the Cookie from the Cookie Jar? Another book by Scholastic. I thought this was even cuter because we just got a piano. We thrifted a piano as well. Um, it's a digital piano with weighted keys. So it's perfect because if we ever move, we can take it with us and it wouldn't be a big deal. Or I can move it around the house and it's not a big deal. So it has music on the back that the kids can play. Okay, so the next one that I picked up was this cute book. I love the color of it. It's called The True Story of the Three Little Pigs, 1989. So another older book, 30 years old. Is that crazy? Okay, so here's this book and it's beautiful on the inside. Love it. I love old books. I love vintage books. I mean, The Three Little Pigs, of course, we all know the story, but The Water Princess, I've never heard of it before it's gorgeous and it shows these beautiful pictures of these ladies returning home from a long day of walking with their babies and you know carrying their water and things on their head and so i think it'll be a nice experience for my kids to see then you can't go wrong with a berenstein bear book i just feel like you can't go wrong so this one is called get into a fight so the brother and the sister get in a fight very convenient for where we are in life with the with jason savannah being so young they're starting to bicker a little bit so um it goes through like things that they do to each other to kind of annoy each other and so i think that'll be fun it'll be fun to read so there's that those are my thrifted books that i picked up those are my homeschool things the other things that i got are really just decor so if you're interested in decor stick around for that i'm gonna start here because this is so special to me this is so special to me so when i was a little girl i spent a lot of time with my grandparents and my grandfather passed away in 2004 and he was a cowboy and he i can't even go into it because i still get emotional but he was a cowboy he was very um talented he sang he played the guitar he played the organ he rode horses he did all kind of he hunted he did so many he fished he did so many different things and uh, i have had nothing of his at all and i've always wished that i had one of his hats at least because he wore hats everywhere he went everywhere everywhere he wrote he had hats on in his cowboy boots and recently my grandma cleaned out her basement and she found his hats and so i have two of his hats oh, look at that i cannot believe it can't believe it haven't seen these hats in so many years and here's another one and so It's just crazy okay it's just crazy so i have two of his hats and i had them on a bookshelf in my living room and they look beautiful and i love them and so i'm gonna keep them on the bookshelf that's where they've been sitting and yeah so i have two of these are very special to me this is i'm a very sentimental person these mean a lot to me i like to have things of things i like to cherish things that my loved ones had because i've never had that before and so now i do now i have this the these these hats and so yeah this is just it's just cool i don't have anything else besides the fact that it's it's so cool. and then you guys are sitting on top of something else of his that is a radio and i'll insert uh, a clip over here but i got a, a old school radio from him that was his and so i haven't plugged it in yet i don't know if it's gonna work if it doesn't work it's fine i have been 
I've had it on top of my fireplace in our den. So happy to have something that was his, you know, it's just, it's crazy. And I had one thing that I bought, but I actually have two things that I purchased. So the first thing that I bought is this lamp, but it didn't come with this lampshade. I bought this lampshade. It came with just like a regular straight lampshade. This I got from Target. I think it was 12, it was $12 and the lampshade itself was $12 too. So it was $24, which is fine. I wanted this for my kitchen. And so you guys will get to see what I do with it, but white color is just hard to see it um, with the window behind me. But I picked up this right here from Target. At a separate time at Target, I picked up this picture frame. I thought this was so cute. And this has been in my kitchen as well. So you guys will have to see what I do with this in the lamp. I can't remember how much this was, maybe $20, $15 or $20. Um, don't quote me on that, but it was something like that. But I just love the, it's not like real brass, it's plastic, but I love the look of that. It just looks antique, exactly what I've been going for. Before I found that picture frame, actually, I went to the thrift store and I found this gorgeous picture frame. It has my baby's picture in it already, but I found this gorgeous picture frame. Look, I know, look at him. He's all the rage. He's so handsome. But I got this. Look at how beautiful. I love it. I love it. And it's like that all around. So I picked this up. It doesn't have anything on the back. Um, you know for it to stand up but that's okay I put this on top of the fireplace as well and so mm -hmm. Jace has his teeth now so it's so funny to see this without his teeth Ugh. that was $2.99 at um, at Goodwill and then I also picked up some more frames this was at a separate time but I went back and I found more frames and so I found this little one here isn't this so cute So it looks like the same type of antique brass along here. This one, it, it feels like it's actually wood, uh, just painted wood. And then it has what seems to be, it seems to be like a gray or green rim in the middle here. I can't really tell which color it is. It doesn't have a picture in there. So I have been hanging pictures without the inside. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like I need to put a picture of one of my babies in here. So I got this frame. This was 99 cents and I found this. I found this. How cute is this? How pretty is this? It doesn't want to focus but it has this velvet piece right here to hang it which I thought was beautiful can it get any more beautiful so I have two I wish I could find one more because then I could hang three with all three of the kids pictures in there but I was only able to find two so I am still on the hunt for one more and then they have this one here I will be so happy to find one more and they're the exact same I have to be careful with this one I'm so happy with her but yes I got this picture <laughs> This picture here, it's gorgeous. And the front of it, as you can see, comes over a bit. She's so pretty. So I got that from Goodwill and then I found this. I saw this at an antique store and it was closer to $30, I believe. I thought it was 50, but I'm almost positive it was closer to $30 um, now that I think about it. And I kept wanting to go back. I didn't buy it, but I kept wanting to go back. And then I went to Goodwill. It's been like three months now. I went to Goodwill, found it there. I think, I wanna say it was $2.99 for this piece. Gorgeous. It's actual crystal. It's heavy, it's a pretty heavy piece. And then it has like the petunia finish around here. I wish it was brass, but it's not. The best find ever because I've been, I've been thinking about going back and getting this piece and then I found it for a fraction of the price. I am gonna start thrifting pieces again. I decided that I love the of the brass pieces so much I wanted all the candlesticks and so I've been looking I've been going to different places to find candlesticks and I finally found some so this is like my basic bare candlestick collection so I have not cleaned them yet but I'm gonna show you so I found this one this one is pretty heavy and as far as the size is concerned you can see here with my hand um, how big this candlestick is. This one was $3.99. It's in really good condition. Um, it needs to, you know, it needs some dusting done to it and I need to wipe it. But 
I love it. I think it's beautiful. And then I kind of went a little, you know, you know, I'm going to show you all of them. I got all of them, all the ones that they had, I grabbed them because I don't find them often. So they had a ton of these. It looks like someone just brought their whole collection and I just bought their whole collection. So they were $1.99 each. And so these are, they seem a little bit skinnier. Let me see. I have a candle here. My candlesticks won't fit in here. So I'm going to have to get some skinnier candlesticks. But I picked up um, this size here. They had this size as well. And they had a smaller one. And this one is a different size as well. So it's not even the same size as this one. And yet a smaller one. They're all different. And then this was the smallest one. So are those all of them? Yes, that's all of them. So I picked up all of these. So this is two, four, seven. So there's seven of them. So I'm very excited to have those. 99 each, like I said, and um, I'll, I'll sprinkle them all over. Okay, so I also picked up this one here. I've had something similar to this before, but not this exact one. And this one is a bit, this one is a little larger, so I could definitely fit these candles in there, like that. Having like good, just good quality little little dishes like this this I can put on the side of the sink where people can put their rings when they wash their hands I can put my earrings on here I could put this on Savannah's nightstand so she can put her jewelry in here or I could put soap in here I could put a candle here there's so many different things but this is pretty heavy it's from restoration hardware and it was $1.99 forgot what this was I don't even remember what is this Oh yeah, this is pretty. I picked this up for Q-tips and little things like that in the bathroom. It has little flowers on it. It's so pretty. So I picked, I picked this up. I, I love like, having little trinkets and pieces like that. So this was $1.99. I picked up a similar one from Home Goods, and I, I want to say I paid $10 for it. I keep it on the side of my bed and here and I keep it keep like little hauls in there um, in case I'm coughing or something like that in the middle of the night so this is what I this one was I want to say it was about ten dollars um, from from home goods so here's the one I got from home goods and this one is I got a while ago and then this is the one that I got for $1.99 so very similar but I love having these little things these little dishes and things like that so I don't know what I'm putting in there, but when I got it, I was like, oh, this is perfect for my Q-tips. Am I, will I put those in there? No, I have no idea. Okay. And then the next thing that I picked up was 99 cent and I just thought it was so cute. It's a smaller, I don't know what this is called, but it's a smaller pot. It's heavy and I'm not going to put anything in there, but I thought it was really pretty and different and I want to sit it with books. So I want to put books up against it and just like use this as a book end. So there is that and then my last I think this is the last item is this it I believe so these are my last two things I picked up a set of these beautiful candle holders look at that baby like how how could I say no to that look at the beauty in that oh. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And so they had two of these. And so I grabbed both of them. And they are two different heights, but they are both beautiful. I have no idea where these are going. <laughs> Do I know where anything is going ever? I have no idea where these are going, but they made my heart happy. They made, I don't know, they're just beautiful. I need, I do, this one is a little loose, as you can see here. So I do, there's a screw, I need to screw the top of it, and I believe, is there a screw at the bottom? No. Oh yeah, there is. So just, they just need a little tightening, a little tightening up. So that is everything that I picked up in this haul. Everything 
like everything was beautiful everything was gorgeous everything was beautiful I am so happy with everything that I have I am excited that I didn't have to spend a lot of money to decorate my house the way that I want it I'm excited to step into this new role of decorating or it's not even a new role but just to continue doing what I love to do which is beautify our home and make it um, a safe place for myself and a place that I I just want to be at all the time and it's so funny because I wake up in our bedroom and I'm just every morning every single morning I wake up and I'm just like oh, I just want to lay here because I love it I love this room I'm so grateful for this bedroom I love everything about it we are going to be doing a little project on our walls here soon but I'm loving it I'm loving everything I love the new chairs that we they're not new but we've just moved them here I love adding the chairs to this room I love our bed and our linen and everything it I love everything about it and so um, I hope you guys are excited to get more decor videos because it truly is my heart it really is my heart and homeschooling is my heart being a homemaker is my heart so just being in our home attending to our home homemaking home decor, homeschooling. Those three really, really have my heart. And so I hope that you can see that in this video and all the videos here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Until next time, take care and have a beautiful day.